Well, we got phones loaded with great people with great comments about the gun grabbing, about Trump on Russia, you name it. Mike Cernovich is our guest. Mike, you were getting to a point where we hit break, finish up with that. And then I was getting into Russia, how the more he expands operations against Russia, the more they say, oh, look, you're just backing off, you know, to get us off your back. And then it's just made up. I'm not in love with Russia. The communist China is so so in control of our country at so many levels. I just wish Americans realized how perilous the situation was. So please continue. Yeah, the Trump is not a bad person. The issue is he surrounded himself with really dumb advisors. I don't know, for example, if you saw this GOP ad, I don't want to single it out too much because it's a good kid, a high school kid, but the GOP goes, oh, this kid is going to use his tax cut to pay for college. And the answer is like, well, no, the college is too expensive to do that. And two, tax cuts aren't how you get the youth vote. But if you're the GOP, that's what they think. Oh, tax cuts. They don't realize, no, college kids can't write Trump and chalk on the sidewalk without facing death threats. That's what matters to the The issue folks. is the free speech. The issue is the authoritarian left. The issue is that they're out of control. But the old elites are so used to living in freedom, they have no idea we've got a giant Bolsheviks in infection. Exactly. Our leg they're, they're, is rotting off with green pus coming out, and the Republican establishment's playing golf. Yeah, you wear a Trump hat on a college campus, they'll kick you out of class. There was a student kicked out of class for claiming that there were only two genders, even though that was the topic of the discussion for debate. There, there's nothing from this from the Republicans. There's nothing from this from Trump. So the issue is that Trump has buffoons all around him, GOP stooges. His, his number one advisor is now a guy by the name of Johnny DeStefano, whose previous job was driving John Boyner to spray tans. That's who he has. That's kind of the running inside joke is how Johnny DeStefano, whose last job was taking John Boyner to his spray tan appointments, how does that become Trump's chief advisor? Well, it really does say it all. So these people are telling Trump, and this is why, this is why I threw a big fit about the omnibus bill. People go, Cernovich, you're fair weather, you're this. And I go, well, first of all, I'm not fair weather or anything. I don't work for the GOP. I don't work for Trump. I work for the people. And my job is that when you turn into a Mike Cernovich uh, transmission, you don't know what you're going to get because you know that I always bring the fire. So what I told people, though, is if you supported Trump signing the omnibus bill, Johnny DeStefano and all these other advisors are going to say, see, see, Don, you know, we told you that this was no big deal. Your base wouldn't care. And then Trump would say, oh, yeah, you guys are real smart. You guys are real right. I and can then they get you. more. No, I understand. If we don't stay on Trump, he will get influenced by the people around him. Exactly. So when we push back and then that gets on Fox News, Trump goes, well, whoa, wait a minute. You guys told me this was a good idea. You guys told me the the, the people weren't going to care and, and they do care. So that's why we have to raise holy heck whenever Trump does something like the omnibus bill. But likewise, we don't want to be negative. And when he does great things and he's done many amazing things. Sure, all the stuff he was planning for 20 years. Uh, China, the economy, all this he's doing because that's what he believes in. But the problem is he only watches basically Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, as you said, the New York Times, and try to keep InfoWars, your material away from him. And and and, and, and so that's why this is happening. We, we've come so far. I want to go to some phone calls here, but what about the Russia situation? I mean, that is really dangerous because there's no evidence Russia nerve gas these people, and now we're just barreling towards war. Yeah, well, they've always wanted World War III, and it looks like we're now going to have a proxy war in Syria, and it'll be the U.S., Saudi Arabia, and Israel. I don't know if you saw this, but there are things that you can watch that if you're woke, you know what is happening. So there was a bunch of news footage of Saudi anti um, airstrike missiles shooting so-called Iranian missiles, and then that went viral. And you're like, well, wait a minute. Why is that clip going viral? So we'll talk about the Trump-Russian diplomats, but something important yesterday happened that all woke people noticed, is whenever you're starting to see a new messaging, you're like, oh, wait a minute, they got their talking points now from the deep state. Oh, that's how, so I mean, they, they still attack us with stuff that Podesta wrote two years ago. You know, gay frogs, uh, nobody died at Newtown, all exactly. So you see the new talking points coming out that Saudi Arabia is going to help in Syria. Saudi Arabia's got weapons to fight Iran if Iran attacks them. It's the idea that Iran's getting ready to attack. Exactly. So, so you're now seeing these great viral videos, and I retweeted one of the videos yesterday. They go, 
um, the Houthi rebels in Yemen backed by Iran. So you're, you're like, wait a minute, now they're doing this brilliant propaganda because they're going to propagandize us into war. So war is coming. The movie is, the movie is turning dark. And it's going to be there, there was even an article is um, Saudi Arabia opened up planes to Israeli air, airspace for the first time. So now the Saudis and the Israelis and the United States and, there's, are and then the Saudis are secretly meeting with Israel every day in Cairo. Exactly. And so they know how to put pressure on Trump. A lot of wild stuff behind the scenes, getting all confused, telling me the war is coming. He's got to defend America, get it all rolling. And they go, sir, this will get us out of the Russia thing, even though it's not true. Be hard line with Russia which is in Syria, and then get with Saudi Arabia, and, and exactly, and the whole thing unfolds. Yeah, so we're headed towards World War III. I've told people that you're crazy if you're not stocking up survival food, survival water, nascent iodine. I have, I, I have it. I use the, um, the InfoWars iodine. People go, what supplements do you take? And I go, I take like 50 different supplements, and I do take the iodine because we have to realize that it's, it's coming, and I'm not a doomsday person. When people watch me, the, if anything, they're like, why aren't you freaking out more? This is a bigger deal than you're making out to be. But people have to have canned foods or survival foods or stuff. Well, I was about foods. to say, even mainstream news admits that the billionaires are fleeing to New Zealand. They built the bases years ago. Now they're leaving. That's in the news. The jets are leaving. They're saying, we're gone. Wh what are they thinking? All this travel to, from Argentina to Antarctica, Right? What's going on there in Antarctica? There's all this travel, and all of a sudden, this newfound interest. What's going on? So when you, when you watch the, when you watch the news, you're like, well, wait a minute. The news is now telling us that we should like Saudi Arabia, even though they sponsored 9/11. We just did a how big of a bit, uh, arms deal now with the Saudis? I think one billion Saudis are going to get nuclear nuclear technology. Oh, the Saudis well, like, Israel. Now, they're gonna like Israel for the f first time use their airspace. Oh, and the Saudis are shooting down missiles by rebels in Yemeni, given them by Iran. So anybody intelligent sees the table is being set for World War III. Well, I got to tell you, it's an incredible time to be alive. And we got the left and the globals trying to shut down free speech, trying to take our Second Amendment. World War III, Iran vows to obliterate Israel in 25 years as Middle East tensions escalate. Uh, it's all insane. You know, I promise to go to all these calls. We'll go to break. I'll go to Jeremy, I promise, and a few others. And I'll try to go some into uh, the next guest that's coming on to guest host with us. Gerald Salente, always informative, but a few more minutes with Mike Cernovich. Just briefly, we got to pray. We got to be involved. We got to reach out to the White House. You've got to call talk radio. You know, they hate InfoWars as we can force a story out that then gets picked up by the rest of talk radio and then Fox News. And so get these issues out however you see them however you take what we've said make up your own mind because we're not giving you talking points we're just having a discussion and let's let's raise this alarm about world war three about a new cold war with christian russia uh, about the police state here at home about the attack on free speech about the gun grabbers about george soros who just realized that most of us can't afford a bunker or to run to new zealand i know i can't so please let's pray for peace uh, for peace and let's pray for a great awakening